Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's get to know your Mac. Not everyone is a computer expert. So let's take a look at your Mac and all its different parts and look at the terminology used to describe it. So let's start by looking at the processor. Now the processor or CPU is the main part of your computer. It performs all the instructions. It's basically like the engine that drives your computer. Everything you do on your computer runs through the central processing unit. That's why it's important to have one that's fast and powerful. Now this is what a CPU looks like. This is the Intel i5 which is found in a lot of the current iMacs. It's basically a very large chip. Another important part of your computer is the graphics processor. Now this is like the CPU in that it handles instructions but it specifically handles ones involved with displaying things on your screen. That's everything, not just 3D graphics. It's the windows in the finder, it's the windows and documents for different applications. It's also called the GPU for graphics processing unit, sometimes VPU for visual processing unit. I like to call it the graphics chipset because on most Macs like the iMacs and MacBooks and MacBook Pros it's not actually a separate part. It's all on the motherboard so it's a bunch of chips on the motherboard. Now here's what one looks like if it's separate, if it's a separate card like you might find it in the Mac Pro. Macs also have memory, sometimes called RAM for random access memory. They look like this. They're a set of chips usually on a small card that fits into your Mac. So for instance if your Mac has 4 gigs of memory you may have two cards like this each with 2 gigs of memory on them. Now what memory does is it handles data that you're using right now like the document you have open right now or the application running right now. Now a lot of people confuse memory with storage which is your hard drive. Your hard drive stores files. It's also called just basically storage by Apple and it looks kind of like this in some Macs. Some Macs have smaller drives like the MacBooks for instance and in here is this is where all your files are stored but files also include the entire operating system and includes also the files that define an application. Now most Macs also have an optical drive which is the real name for it but you may also know it as the CD drive, DVD drive or super drive. A super drive is capable of reading and writing CDs and DVDs. So the difference between CDs and DVDs by the way is a CD holds uh, just somewhere around 800 megs of data whereas a DVD drive holds just shy of 5 gigs of data. Now, of course your Mac also has a display. You may call it your monitor or your screen or just the LCD. Now you may have heard a screen referred to as an LED screen. It's still an LCD screen. It's just using LED lights as the backlighting. Your Mac also has a variety of network hardware. For instance, you probably have a set of chips and an antenna inside your Mac that gives you Wi-Fi access to your local router. It allows you to surf the internet, communicate with other computers in your home. In addition, you may be able to hook up a wire connection through an Ethernet port. It gives you the same functionality but you have a cable stretching from your Mac to the base station or router. Now Apple calls wireless communication a lot of times airport. It's got an airport base station, you have an airport card or airport chips inside of your computer. So the terms airport and Wi-Fi are used interchangeably at Apple. In addition you probably have Bluetooth capability in your Mac. This allows short range communication uh, with some devices. For instance uh, cameras may be able to send pictures. Uh, you may have wireless headsets. You have of course wireless keyboards and mice, things like that. Your Mac also has a variety of other ways to connect with the outside world. For instance, you probably have a number of USB ports. This allows you to connect to devices like cameras, scanners, printers, wired keyboards, wired mice, all sorts of different things. It's the primary way to hook something up to your Mac. But also there is FireWire which is a different type of connection that is primarily used for video cameras. In addition you've got a selection of audio ports. Some Macs have a single audio port that's both optical and analog audio in and out. So you can hook up a headset to it like the earbuds that come with the iPhone to get both a microphone and headphones. Or you may have separate jacks for audio in and audio out. In addition you probably have a mini display port and now if you have an iMac or a MacBook with a screen then this allows you to hook up a second screen. If you have a Mac Mini or a Mac Pro this allows you to hook up your primary screen. Sometimes you've got several on a Mac Pro that allows you to hook up several screens. In addition some MacBooks have SD card slots. This allows you to take the SD card out of a camera and 
put it into your Mac to transfer the pictures from the card into your Mac. So that's the basic terminology used to describe the main parts of your Mac. If you're interested in finding out any more of this there's a ton of information out there on the web. For instance you can go to Wikipedia and look up any of these terms and get detailed information about the different parts of a computer and the history of those parts as well. Until next time this is Gary with Mac Moments Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.